Hi guys, today we dig into the fourth law from the seven spiritual laws of success by Deepak Chopra, which is the law of least effort. It is definitely a crucial concept to implement for our personal growth, so let's get started. Welcome to the channel everyone, my name is Raphael and on this channel we meditate together every single day and we also have episodes on self-improvement and philosophy, helping you define a good life, a life of joy and happiness and a life that you can live as the very best version of yourself. If this is interesting to you, please do consider subscribing to this channel and check out the description of this episode below as it has a lot of links to our free newsletter, our blog, our podcast format and more free resources. I want to start by reading a passage by Deepak Chopra's book, this tiny little book here, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. He says, and I quote, Grass doesn't try to grow, it just grows. Fish don't try to swim, they just swim. Flowers don't try to bloom, they bloom. Birds don't try to fly, they fly. This is their intrinsic nature, end of quote. And I love this. Grass doesn't try to grow, it just grows. And it reminds me of myself teasing my wife and tiny baby because we have to teach him everything from the start, right? Including how to eat his milk for the first few weeks, which would not actually really happen with baby zebras, for example. We as humans have to learn how to walk on two feet, which also seems to be kind of a contradiction to our intrinsic nature, but I digress, right? Um, there are three grounding components of the law of East effort, and we are going to dip our toes in all of them today. So these are, first of all, acceptance, responsibility, and third, defenselessness. I want to start with the first one, acceptance. We have talked about this before in different contexts, but this is the idea of accepting what is, who you are, where you are right now in your evolution or growth. In order to move forward, you need to first know where you are and accept your starting point. Don't try to force something to be something other than what it already is. You wouldn't try to make a fish fly, that would be ridiculous. You wouldn't climb Mount Everest tomorrow if you've never trained, that would be, that would be imprudent, right? You would have to accept where you are in your fitness today and then train from that exact starting point in order to make that big climb in the future. With acceptance, we gain a new energy. Our efforts become less strained. We are more grounded in love and pure expression. We also make space for our self-confidence, our self-expression, and as we saw a few days ago, our pure potentiality. In her book, Byron Katie makes a really funny comment that we've quoted many times on the platform, at least on the podcast, um, because it's just simply so perfect. She says, and I quote, I realize that it's insane to oppose it. When I argue with reality, I lose, but only 100% of the time, end of quote. Arguing with reality is nothing other than completely insane, really insane. Don't be insane. Accept what it is. Let go, move on, prepare and grow from there. The second component is responsibility. Deepak Chopra puts it this way in his little book. I quote, all problems contain the seeds of opportunity and this awareness allows you to take the moment and transform it into a better situation or thing, end of quote. Okay, this goes perfectly with what we dug in in the previous episodes on Jack Cansfield's success principles and his equation of E plus R equals O, event plus response equal outcome and not event equal outcome. That last one is the definition of being a victim and that is not what we want to be. We want to, res to be responsible in two words, to practice our ability to respond. Stephen Covey in his Seven Habits of Highly Effective People the habit number one is be proactive. Don't be a victim. Don't blame others for your responses to a given situation. Don't be a coward boss that blames his teams and employees. You take ownership. You take responsibility. The third component is defenselessness. As Deepak puts it, and I quote again from this little book, when you remain open to all points of views, not rigidly attached to only one, your dreams and desires will flow with nature's desires. You can be sure when the season is right, your desires will manifest, end of quote. 
So keep an open mind. Keep the doors open. When the season is right, your desires will manifest. Before we continue with our exercises, I want to mention one thing. We're talking about manifestation and that leads to the topic of the law of attraction. The law of attraction is a wonder thing for some and a terrible sabotage for others. Yes, you must attract the good things in your life, but you need to work for it. Don't just lie in bed and hope. Don't be a blind optimist. Don't be naive. Open your heart to what you want to attract and then open your brain and make a plan. We'll talk about this when we visit the amazing book very soon titled Rethinking Positive Thinking. But for now and for today, let's just take our journals out if you have it with you. And I want you to be creative and write three things you can do every day starting today to practice each component of the law of least effort. So number one, three things to practice daily for acceptance. Number two, three things to practice daily for responsibility. Number three, three things to practice daily for defenselessness. I want to finish this episode like we do all the time with some empowering affirmation. I'm going to read them to you. Let me just find them. I'm going to read them to you. You can um, you can repeat them out loud. I think this is a very good way to really embody those affirmations, those empowering affirmations. You can also write them down and do it later. Um, whatever makes you feel more comfortable, right? But I would suggest that you repeat them out loud in front of a mirror if you want also. So the first empowering affirmation is I accept where I am today and prepare myself for growth. I accept where I am today and prepare myself for growth. Second one is, I take responsibility for my actions. For any given situation, I have the ability to respond with calm. You can replace the word calm with poise or calm energy. Third one is, my dreams and desires will flow with nature's desires. Last one, but not least, by keeping my mind open and by taking daily action, I open the doors to the manifestations of my desires. And that's it for today's episode. We have done a seven day meditation online retreat uh, during the last confinement, the first confinement, and it's completely free and it's right here on YouTube. I will link the playlist in the description below. And a lot of people have really liked it because it is really all about accepting. So first observing, sorry. So being mindful of what is, where we are, who we are right now in this instance and then accepting that. And only by observing and accepting can we then move on forward and become the best version of ourselves. That's it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do hit the like button. This not only boosts my ego, but also the YouTube algorithm so that people can find us and uh, benefit from these videos. Please do share these videos if you think that it would benefit a friend, a family member, a colleague. And if you've not done so already, please do subscribe to the channel. As I said before, we meditate here together every single day. It's all completely free. We also do some philosophy and self-improvement videos. So a lot of really cool things coming up. I hope that you're well. Keep safe. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.